Welcome to Living Local. I'm Gail Kirstead, your guide for everything fun under the sea and sun. And we're out in the fields today. And yes, you've seen lemons growing on trees, but now we've got lemons on trellises. And we're out here at Limonera, and we're gonna meet Edgar Gutierrez, who's gonna tell us all about this new technique, new to us, but I bet they've done it for centuries in Europe, maybe in Italy. We'll see. Hello, Hi. Edgar. Hi, how are you? Good. Good, good to see you. Now tell us about growing the lemons like this and where this whole idea came from. Well, um, well, the, the whole idea comes from maximizing space, right? Uh, the most important part here is maximizations of resources, right? So what we're doing here with the trellis system is basically creating a fruit wall. Wow, well let's take a closer look at what's going on here. So the idea, like I said, is, is to create a fruit wall, okay? Eventually, you know, uh, bring more revenue to the block. In a smaller space and a, use, a conservation a, of space as well. Exactly, conservation of space and then maximizing all of the resources that we're going to put in that acre. Okay. So wow, that that's the main sustainability idea. in action, isn't it? It is. It really is. And where did you come up with this whole plan and idea? Well, we started going back and forth uh, with a colleague of mine in Israel. So. And here it is. And here it is. And so <laughs> tell us about this and how you get it. Is this, this is called Espelier? Espelier is, 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 is a name. Uh, we, we call it trellises. <laughs> and but, so uh, how do you get the lemons to actually <coughs> grow like this? Okay. Where do you get a special seedling yes. or what happens? No, so the, the, what we're trying here is three different science and three different, uh, three different rootstocks. Foothills, 8As, and uh, Fino 49s. Those are the three varieties that we're going to start uh, testing with. And what you do is you, you top it here and then the tree will start growing outwards. So we don't want to do that and that's what we ask the nursery to just leave them and let them grow in one straight axle so that over here we can actually top it and then the trees start growing lateral. You have to guide the branches and tie them up into these cables so then the fruit will start hanging over here. Okay, that's, that's our idea. Uh, this is all new, full potential of fruiting um, it probably takes seven or eight years, okay. but it'll start bearing some fruit probably in the second and third year. Definitely. Yes. Wow. And so you expect this area here to have in a couple of years, in a couple of years to yes. just be full. And this is all going to be a wall of lemons. Yes. Isn't this similar to the way they do it in the Amalfi where they have trellises out on the Amalfi coast in Italy? Yes. They've been similar, right? Exactly. Exactly. Now, of course, a lot more technified okay because for example the way we're delivering water here is is through double drip lines okay so it's a lot more efficient in the use of water okay oh, that's important it's uh it's all compensated so we maintain pressures we can spoon feed okay these trees we have a separate system that we can basically irrigate whenever we want however we want our Phytech platform, basically what it's going to do is going to measure the exact amount of water that the tree needs, okay? It's through a dendrometer, and this dendrometer, basically what it's what is measuring is when the tree drinks water and when it's not drinking water, right? So we can, we can actually put the water exactly when the tree is needing that water. And whenever the tree is not drinking water, it tells us, okay, and so we don't put water. So that's, that's, that's that thin line, okay, of actually the efficient use of fertilizers and water. That's very now, did you ever think you'd be doing lemons on trellises? Uh, no, to tell you the truth, no. Uh, but we are constantly changing. We're constantly evolving into, you know, in citric culture, and we have to think outside the box, right? You know, it's not the usual densities. It's not the usual varieties, and so on. So this is an example of going forward and breaking, uh, breaking the barriers of what we've been doing for so many years, right? So this is a new step. 
This is what sustainability really means. When it's, people talk about yeah. utilizing resources and making the most out of the land, you do that with the mulching. Making the most out of the land is, I would say, is, is what, what this is, right? It's, it's making the most out of every, you know, every inch of that acre. It's basically what it is, right? Uh, and then the possibilities of, of mechanical harvesting on this, right? Um, it, it, for us, it's a challenge every season to get people to come and harvest. And uh, but it is hard to find workers, and people really it is. Yes, people really aren't interested in doing those types of jobs. No. And, and so you really so, need to do something so that we can all eat and have food. Exactly. So definitely, you know, this the, creating this scenario is is basically pre preparing for that to come in the near future. So there's a lot of exciting things here to come. And it's gotta be really fun for you to have something new and different in this field. Yeah, it, it gives us all a challenge. Um, and that's, you know, that's the whole team driving new technology and incorporating it into, um, you know, in, in, into the efficiency of production. Um, that's that's what, we're, what we're here for. And, uh, and we, you know, we, we enjoy it. You know, this is something that we enjoy it, so. It's not like a job. <laughs> no, and you're bringing you're bringing food to people's homes. Yeah, and bringing mm -hmm. the fruit of life and sharing it. We're trying to bring the best piece of fruit that we can. Yes. Oh, thank you. You're very welcome. We enjoy it. <laughs>